you've ever been in a stock where the company is delivering on the fundamental side, but the stock just can't get going no matter how good the news, it could be for one of two reasons. Smaller companies have to commit some of their attention to getting their story out, and in many cases, management is just ignoring that side of the equation. But more likely, it's because the company is simply in the wrong sector. The market falls in love with all kinds of different themes at different times, and the stocks within the latest fad group tend to get the best valuations and volume. Biotech is one of the most fickle groups in the market. Every now and then, some small company delivers a biotech breakthrough, and the stock goes nuts. The market falls in love with biotech all over again, temporarily. Then, the reality of small companies grinding through millions of dollars without generating a dime in revenues comes back to the forefront, and biotech stocks revert to their standard comatose condition. Over the past three years, energy and commodity stocks have been the darlings of Wall Street, and that trend will no doubt continue on for several years. Demand for commodities is being fueled by huge demand from the emerging BRIC nations, those being Brazil, Russia, India, and China. The old economy industrial names in the U.S. like Caterpillar and John Deere have made multi-year highs fueled by international demand for their goods and services. In the meantime, the traditional stalwarts of the U.S. market, like technology and consumer stocks, have fallen out of favor. Wall Street is fickle. Money rotates from sector to sector as the hot money chases the hot group. When this happens, the pros call this crowded trades, meaning everyone is looking to buy the same momentum stocks. The problem? When the crowd turns, everyone is looking to sell the same momentum stocks, and you end up with a big, emotionally driven price swing. You should know what sector you are buying when you invest and have an understanding about how Wall Street views that sector at the present time. If you're a long-term investor looking to accumulate a meaningful position, you should be looking at the out-of-favor sectors. You'll be ready to make some serious money when your sector comes back in favor. If you're looking for a trade, you want to be in the hottest sectors. Know what sector is hot and plan your investing strategies accordingly. Mm -hmm.